Now, unlike the Australian curriculum, which is designed to be nationally consistent, so across all of the states and territories in Australia, um, there is reasonable consistency between what is taught in the various states. In the final two years of um, computer education, there isn't any consistency. Now, there has been consistently consistency achieved for mathematics and science and Hass and English. Of course, they have a national curriculum. And so all states and territories have agreed on what is taught in the senior years in those subject areas. Unfortunately, that hasn't extended to all of the learning areas and what is taught in um, senior computing is not consistent across Australia. So that will hopefully be achieved at some stage, but there is no immediate intention for that to occur. Now, in the main, universities haven't strongly supported um, senior computing. They have strongly supported other subject areas such as mathematics and sciences. And you'll see a lot of consistency with what is taught in schools with what is taught in the first years of university studies. Now that hasn't occurred in uh, computer education for a whole range of reasons. But essentially, um, universities haven't, university IT faculties have assumed and wanted to assume that students coming into their courses had no prior computer education. It made it easier for them to assume a blank slate and they could offer first year courses that started from a zero school base and they built upon that. Now that is slowly being recognized as um, inappropriate and that students across Australia now are receiving sufficient digital technologies and computer education that the universities can assume prior knowledge and can build off what is achieved in the schooling system, in what students learn in years 11 and 12, for example. The problem is that not all students going into study IT will necessarily have studied a year 11 and 12 subject. They may have stopped their studies in year 10, but they will all have achieved studies up to year eight, which include a reasonable amount of programming knowledge um, that would be normally replicated in the first year of university studies. So at least they can assume student knowledge of computing up to what is described in year eight in the Australian curriculum for digital technologies. Now, ideally, we would love to see a requirement for students to have studied a year 11 and 12 subject going into their senior, going into university studies. Um, you'll find a requirement to have studied um, a senior mathematics subject to go in and study mathematics, for example, at a university level or physics at a university level. So the universities can then closely align with what is taught in years 11 and 12 and then build upon that in the university studies. That doesn't yet exist for senior computing. It would make things much easier. It would make a much clearer and cleaner pathway into tertiary studies. But for a whole range of reasons, that is very difficult to achieve. Um, for the universities to take that step, they would then have to exclude students that hadn't achieved that pathway. So hadn't studied digital solutions, for example. And they're loathe to do that because student numbers are, they struggle with student numbers already. And having that as a prerequisite would then mean that they would have fewer students eligible to be able to study um, IT university-based courses. So that's sort of the history of where that is at. Now in the VET sector, it's again, rather complex. Um, in the 90s and or the early 2000s, we went down a process whereby VET was taught in schools, where we were able to teach Certificate 2 and Certificate 3 courses 
And indeed, some schools were even teaching Certificate 4 courses. Now, then the vet sector realised that that was actually rather problematic. Of course, students then didn't need to go on to um, TAFE, as it's called in Queensland, um, the vet um, courses, because they'd already done them in schools. Uh, and this caused a problem in terms of staffing and student numbers within the vet sector. So as a sector, they moved away from supporting schools, being able to teach vet courses in schools. And we lost a lot of that support and schools generally stopped teaching vet subjects. Now, as mentioned, it is still possible, but it's nowhere near as easy as it was and it's essentially been decoupled from senior schooling. But there will be students going through the VET pathways in schools or the applied subjects, which will then go on to study vocational subjects, so threes and fours in the VET sector. Okay. So then the final aspect you need to be aware of is around staffing. Um, in the main, only about half of our teachers in schools have qualifications to teach senior computing subjects, either VET or the general subjects such as digital solutions. Um, it's one of the issues with uh, senior, senior education um, in the mate, where often we have teachers uh, who have, of course, received teacher education, but not necessarily in the subject that they're teaching. So they may have um, studied health and PE in their teacher preparation. And as their muscles <laughs> fatigue, they decide to change the subject area that they teach, and they may drift into teaching um, computing subjects, and then gain enough experience in teaching, say, digital technologies, that they then are employed teaching digital solutions. But they haven't necessarily received any formal training around teaching digital solutions. And they certainly may not have had a bachelor's degree in IT or anything like that to support that. Now, it's not to say that they can't become great digital solutions and computer education teachers. It just means that they haven't had any formal preparation around that. So, in the main, there is about half of our teachers that have got that formal um, training and within that of those that do have that training it varies um, the majority have a bachelor degree so have some sort of um, bachelor degree where they receive specific IT training or as part of their teacher education they receive specific computer um, studies training not the courses you may be doing but um, IT courses taught by IT faculties to be the equivalent of a bachelor degree in IT when they commence their um, teacher education programs. Some will have a master's degree but only about 13 percent. So overall um, teachers don't have a high percentage of higher degrees Again, there is no financial or career path um, incentive to achieve that, as there may be in other careers, other professions. So it's not a, um, a high propensity of our teachers with higher degree training, which does seem a bit strange for, an ed for a career path focused on education, where education is not necessarily a high priority. But that's the nature of schooling and of teachers. And there are quite a few teachers that have um, industry certificates, such as Microsoft or, and so forth certific certifications or um, diploma level certificates um, from universities. Okay, so that's sort of the teaching workforce and who your colleagues will be. And across the country, the curriculum does vary and you can have a look at those variations in the course material um, and just sort of see what is available for you to teach in other states but also you will receive students transferring into Queensland from other states and you should become aware 
in general about what is being offered across Australia. Now, many of the states will have the equivalent to what is taught in Queensland, which is essentially um, a programming language and an information systems databasing equivalent. Some states, though, have more of an applied focus, more like our ICT uh, applied subject, where they're learning applications and um, sort of not having a focus on programming or information systems. OK, so have a look at the curriculums as they extend across the country. Just briefly, you don't need to go into them in any, more, any great detail. But of course, we will be discussing the Queensland curriculum in considerable detail. So you need to make sure you've looked at the um, digital solutions um, syllabus in specifically, but also have a look at the ICT syllabus as well.